This problem says, for what value of a does the circle have a radius of 10, where our equation is 2x squared plus ax plus 2y squared plus 8y is equal to 64. To solve this, I'm going to transform this top equation into the standard form of a circle, which is this thing below. This x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. So to try and transform the top into that bottom form, I'm going to divide everything by 2. And the reason for that is because I don't want to work with 2x squared and 2y squared. I just want x squared and y squared only. So if I do all of this work, I'll have x squared plus a over 2 times x plus y squared plus 4y is equal to 32. Let me erase all this up here. And now let's transform this equation into standard form. To do that, we need to complete the square for the x terms and the y terms. Let's do that. So I'm gonna work with the x first. I have x squared plus a over two x. I need to add some special number to this such that this factors into x minus h squared, although it could be positive, keep that in mind. So to do that, we complete the square. And the way you complete the square is you take the coefficient on the x term, that a over two, and you first divide it by two. a over two divided by two is just a over four. But then after you do division by two, you have to square it after. So this just becomes a squared over 16. So all this means is that I need to add a squared over 16 to this side. If I add it to the left side, let's add it to the right side to be consistent as well. So I have 32 plus a squared over 16. But now let's go back to factoring the x terms. This just factors as x plus a over 4 squared. And the way you can get a over 4 is just you take the middle term here, a over 2, and divide by 2. And it'll get you whatever this is supposed to be every time. So now let me just rewrite this up here. So all that x stuff just turned into x plus a over 4 squared. Now let's work with the y terms and complete the square for those. So y squared plus 4y, and then to complete the square, you take the coefficient on the y, that's 4, divided by 2, so 4 over 2 is just 2, then you square it, and 2 squared is just 4. So we just got back to the number 4 anyway. So add 4, and then we add 4 to the left side, add it to the right side to be consistent, and then let's factor y squared plus 4y plus 4, that just turns into y plus 2 squared. And once again, quick check to get this number, just take this middle coefficient, divided by 2. <laughs> so now let me rewrite this. I'll have plus y plus 2 squared. Okay, now how can this help us get the value of a? Well, remember, the whole thing in a circle equation in standard form is equal to r squared. And you know r is equal to 10. And therefore, r squared is 100. That means this whole side here is just equal to 100. So what I can do is set 32 plus a squared plus six over 16 plus 4 equal to 100. So let me do that. So I'll have, I'll have 32 plus a squared plus 16 over 16 plus 4. I'll just write that as 36 plus a squared over 16 is equal to 100. Let's subtract 36 from both sides. This leaves me with a squared over 16 is equal to 64. Then let's multiply both sides by 16. If I do that, I'll have a squared is equal to 64 times 16 is just 1024. Finally, take the square root of both sides. And once you do that, you'll have that a is equal to, you take the square root of 1024, you'll have two answers. It'll be plus 32 or minus 32. Because remember, when you're solving quadratic equations and you take a square root, you have to count for the positive and negative solutions. But this means that to get the radius of the circle to be 10 in the initial equation at the start of this problem, a needs to be either positive 32 or minus 32.